Hey folks, Antar1011 here, back to bring you a new black and white battle. My opponent is Silent Slash, who I met through Quid, the Quid Zat that is, um, and he's going to go ahead and lead off with a Jirachi, while I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my uh, taunting Whimsicott, newly rebred. Um, anyway, uh, I go ahead and taunt on the first turn, uh, which is what every Whimsicott is going to do in this situation, because Jirachi is a known Stealth Rock user, and he cannot set up Stealth Rocks after the taunt. I go ahead and stun Spore here, just to completely ruin that Jirachi's day, um, and that's pretty awesome. So, uh, next Jirachi's going to use Iron Head, um, and it does a whole lot of damage, gets me down to my Focus Sash. Now, that was a crit, but I'm kind of hoping that that crit didn't matter. Um, this, uh, this is actually really funny. This Jufro, my Whimsicott, has been rebred to have 0 HP, 0 defense, and 0 special defense, uh, EV, IVs, sorry, with a minus defense of nature. I don't remember which defense. Um, the reason is so that I can get down to 1 HP much more easily, and I can get off that Endeavor that Jirachi is now down to 1 HP, or I guess actually now 1 plus, uh, whatever... Um, its health is divided by 16 HP. So anyway, um, I'm just sending out one of my guys who can use priority moves, uh, and I easily scare out his Jirachi because he knows that the Aqua Jet is coming. Uh, plus, it's, he's paralyzed anyway, I didn't really even need the priority moves. Um, anyway, I hit his Gliscor in on the switch, um, and seeing how much damage that does, I think, okay, well, this, uh, Gliscor pretty much walls me, but whatever, I'm gonna try to set up on him anyway. He goes ahead and protects here. Um, kind of a strange move considering he had his Poison Heal already up. And what was I gonna do to him? I guess, um, some Karakastas run, uh, Blizzard? I don't know. There's really nothing I could have done to this guy. Uh, I mean, Aqua Jet is gonna be my most effective move considering it's, uh, 40 base power times 2 for super effective, and neither of my other two moves are gonna be super effective against him. Um, so anyway, he's gonna go ahead and call back after I get off a Shell Smash. Um, and so now I'm gonna get off a second Shell Smash, and I'm still at full health. I have nothing to fear because I have sturdy, so this is just really kind of funny. I'm uh, I'm now at plus four attack, plus four special attack. Now that's going to do me any good, and plus four speed. So I'm going to outspeed everything on his team. I uh, go ahead and go for the rock slide. Maybe not the best move considering it's um, it doesn't have the best accuracy and Gengar doesn't have the best defenses. But I'm still used to the days of Gen 4 when Gengar used to run um, Focus Sash, so I was really hoping that I would kill him and then get the flinch, but, or get him down to Focus Sash and then get the flinch so I could kill him on the next turn. But it didn't really matter. I go for the Earthquake now against his Metagross, and I think, Metagross is pretty bulky, maybe he can survive. That's a no. Uh, my opponent made a really bad mistake in letting my Karakasa set up. Never, ever, ever let a Shell Smasher, a Quiver Dancer, anything like that, never let them set up. Dragon Dancers to some extent, uh, but, you know, I've lost battles like this before. Uh, not for a while, though, but I think I lost to a Gyarados once upon a time, uh, because I let it get off some Dragon Dancers, and it's just, you know, you got no one to blame for the sweep but yourself. So, uh, gonna go ahead and go for the Earthquake as he sends out his Jirachi. Um, what, I didn't need the Aqua Jet after all, so his Jirachi is now down. And I believe, no, no, so now he's got his Hihidaruma, his Darmanitan. Hihidaruma, by the way, way better name than Darmanitan. Um, gonna go for the Earthquake. Again, it's gonna just sweep through, I'm just sweeping through his entire freaking team. Uh, all because he let me set up. <clears throat> and, you know, didn't even break my Sturdy. Uh, had he broken my sturdy, I would have been a little bit more conservative. Probably wouldn't have gone for that second. Um, uh, probably wouldn't have gone for that second uh, attack. Anyway, so this is the hilarious thing. He uh, switches Gliscor back out as his last Pokemon, um, and look at how much this Aqua Jet does at plus four. He survives. He would have beaten me had he just stayed in an Earthquake. Uh, he would have gotten rid of my uh, Karakosta right away, and that would have been that. But as it is, I've got the Sturdy, he survives with only a little bit of HP, I believe he's going to try to protect Stall me on the next turn. But this battle is over, there's really nothing he can do to me. Uh, I mean, I guess he can keep protecting onto Infinity, and at some point, maybe, uh, he would have recovered enough health uh, that he could survive. But just realistically, uh, there's really nothing he could have done, and this is the game. So, uh, Silent Slash, um, sorry this was so one-sided, um, but again, just for future reference, don't let a Karakasta set up. 
Um, so yeah, Aquajet for the KO, for the win, and that's all, folks. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, you know, check out my channel. Peace out.